The rows and rows of freshly made beds are empty, a reminder that there are still some 240 Israeli hostages being held by Hamas in Gaza. This art installation at Jerusalem City Hall is one of several about the hostages around the world. They include empty strollers, empty chairs at tables, and empty shoes. For almost a month, the families of the hostages have been living a nightmare. Rachel Goldberg's son Hirsch, a dual U.S.-Israeli citizen, was kidnapped from the music festival October 7th near Gaza. She visited the installation of empty beds in Jerusalem and says she was drawn to one bed. It was a bed that was a child's bed. It wasn't, you know, Hirsch's, Hirsch just turned 23. It wasn't a bed that he would be able to sleep in, but there was something about that bed that I stopped by and um, other people ended up coming to me and saying, are you, do you have someone who was kidnapped? And I said, I do, my son. And they said, is he a little boy? Because they saw me standing next to the bed and I said, he's not, but he'll always be my little boy. Goldberg recently spoke at the UN as part of the hostage family's effort to get the world to pressure Hamas. There is also a worldwide poster campaign that has sparked tensions in New York and elsewhere after some posters were torn down. Activists are working with the families to publicize the plight of the hostages, including 30 children. They produced a video using AI about eight-year-old Naveh, one of the eight members of Gilad Korngold's family believed to be held hostage by Hamas. I keep telling myself it's just a story, but it's such a bad one. Who would write this kind of story? I want to go home. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he is committed to the hostages' freedom and that the Israeli ground incursion into Gaza may help. Our common assessment of all of the, uh, not only the cabinet members, but also all the security forces and the military, is that the ground action actually creates the possibility, not the certainty, but the possibility of getting our hostages uh, out. Because Hamas will not do it unless they're under pressure. But many families fear the ground invasion may complicate matters. I worry about um, the hostages. I worry about the soldiers going in. I worry about the um, Gazan civilians who are there. Um, I'm very worried on, on most levels about the ground invasion. Noam Calderon has three cousins, including two children, who were taken hostage by Hamas from kibbutz near Oz. She says the government must do more to bring them home. We can't declare victory without bringing the hostages home. The families say they believe Hamas is using the hostages as human shields, holding them in tunnels deep below ground. They worry that Israeli ground incursions will only make their rescue more difficult. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Jerusalem.